Satan went into the Garden of Eden where God had planted every beautiful herb and flower for man to enjoy. And he went into that garden and got into the one place that was dangerous in that garden because God had a tree in the middle of the garden, the tree of life, and no one was allowed to eat from it. Adam and Eve were told specifically, do not eat from that tree or you will surely die. I wonder if they even knew what it meant to die. But those were his instructions. And Eve, being the curious female that she was, was in the garden one day and the serpent was coiled in the tree. The serpent was the person of Satan. He went from being Lucifer, the light bearer, to Satan, the enemy, the adversary. So there they are in the garden. And the snake confides in Eve and says, You surely will not die if you eat this fruit. And she's thinking how beautiful the fruit is. And I'm sure Satan was projecting thoughts into her mind at the same time. Wow, I won't? No, you won't die. Not at all. You'll live forever and then you'll see and understand things. God is just keeping you away from those things because he doesn't want you to have that knowledge. But once you eat it, you'll be able to see. So Eve, being the impressionable creature she was, took from the tree and ate it. And she could feel a transformation going on as she ate it. She recognized her body as being shameful when it's not covered. Before that, they walked around in nudity and shamefulness was non-existent. It was all very natural and simple. She became very self-conscious. And then she offered some of the fruit to Adam. And he became self-conscious. And both of them learned how to sew fig leaves together to cover themselves. Because they were ashamed of what their bodies looked like. Well, right about that time, the Lord came down into Eden for the walk that he did daily, talking to them one-on-one. And when he came, they weren't there. They were hiding. And, of course, God knows everything. But he said, what have you done? Where are you? Why are you hiding from me? And they had to tell him the painful truth. And that is when evil entered into the world. They lost the Garden of Eden. They became mortal, that they would die physically. And they had to go and work the land to eat. The food wasn't just hanging and ripe in front of them anymore. They had to work the land and toil. Now, after that, they multiplied and had children, Cain and Abel. And Cain was jealous, like Satan. He was jealous of Abel because Abel's sacrifice was pleasing to the Lord and his sacrifice was not pleasing to the Lord. So he killed his brother. And his brother's blood cried out to God, So began the cycle of sin on earth. And with sin came death. There was no death in the Garden of Eden. No death. But now that they have chosen that path, death entered the world. And the dark horse that caused it is the very same force It causes people to do terrible things to each other on earth. 
to pray against families to break up, to get divorced, to cause fights and gangs and deep wounds. Yep, he plots all of those things. Day and night, 24 hours, he has been kicked out of the garden, which no longer exists on this earth, and will in the end times. Very soon, the garden will come back. But he goes around and makes it his business to turn people against God and to hurt people, to do things that will hurt them and scar them for life. Now, God knew that this was the situation. And God has three parts. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. One God. Just like if you took a blanket and folded it into three parts. It would still be one, but it's three parts. Just like an egg. One egg has three parts. Has a shell, has a white, and has a yolk. So, Jesus, who was the Father's Son in heaven, who was also 100% God, he was not a creation. He pre-existed from all eternity, just like God the Father. So Satan was against them, the people, and caused them to do terrible things because once they did bad things, they would get condemned and have to live with Satan. And he loved to torture people, torment and torture. He loved it. That gave him great joy and satisfaction. But Jesus was sent into the world to pay for everybody's sins and set them free. Free from Satan. Free from their flesh. Free from murder. Free from stealing. Free from hatred and violence. The Lord Jesus told the Father, I'll go down and I'll pay the price. And Jesus knew what the price would be before he ever made that statement. So he came down to earth and he showed people a different side of God. The Old Testament, a tooth for a tooth, an eye for an eye. The Old Testament was very violent and ugly and difficult for a lot of different reasons, which I won't go into right now. 